Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I thought I would take you along with me and do a satisfying clean with me. Today we are going through in the new house and we're just going to be cleaning all those bits and pieces that you know kind of get neglected when you do move. For example doors, mirrors, skirting boards, any things that really collect dust when you're moving new furniture in. We're going to be doing a general tidy up of the house and of course we are going to be doing the bathrooms. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Tiana. I do lifestyle motherhood and cleaning videos and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you are in need for some motivation. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So of course we are starting off in the bedroom. I always like to make my bed first. I feel like it is honestly the icing on the cake. If you have a messy room, it doesn't look as messy if you do have a clean bed. And I'm the type of person who would rather have something imperfect but finished rather than perfect and not finished, if you know what I mean. So a made bed is fine, even if it is a bit messy. It's gonna get messy anyway just it's just like the action of making your bed that makes a huge difference in your day so now I'm going to be dusting down our new drawers I actually got these drawers from freedom they are the raffles collection and I think they are absolutely stunning they are oak wood and the color is honey if you're wondering because I know a lot of people have asked about them and now I'm just gonna go through and dust the light switches and the power points I feel like they collect a lot of dust our bedroom's a bit of a strange room it actually doesn't have a window which in a way is a good thing when it comes to dust however if you're like me you absolutely love natural light um, but that's okay we make work we make do um, it's got amazing lighting though I'm not gonna lie it's got like several drop lights but now I'm just going to go through and clean any things that just need a dusting from moving like all these essential oils. They just really built up over time and needed a good dust down. I think it's so important to um, clean when like clean your bedside tables because your pillow is there and your head is honestly right next to this dust pile so make sure you clean your bedside tables otherwise you don't want to be inhaling any gross particles i'm also going to go through and clean the lamp um isaac hasn't well we actually haven't even picked out bedside tables i'm, I'm just using a stool because you know but we just pop the lamp in here for now because it just makes the light like i said the lighting is so good but when you're trying to go to sleep you kind of want that more softer warm light that's going to help you wind down so i'm just going to go for it and dust that and excuse all of the boxes like we got to do something about them but it's definitely not happening today um but we'll figure it out I'm obsessed with these French doors. I think they are absolutely stunning and they give the room so much character. However, if there's something that I have to say, it's that it's a Theodore magnet. He loves putting his hands all over the doors and it's, um, it's, it's gonna get some, it's gonna take a bit of getting used to because I just have to clean them every day. No, but let's be real, probably once a week. <laughs>
All right, because we are still getting rid of moving rubbish, it makes our house seem a lot more messier than what it actually is. But if you're anything like me, then you probably got a toddler running around, undoing all your work, and it's time to pick up the toys. I just, I'm so glad that we do a toy rotation because I couldn't imagine having toys out 24 seven all over the floor. <laughs> that would just drive me up the wall. But we just get a few toys out at a time and I try to make it the rule for Theo to only bring a new toy out once his current toy is all packed up. However, sometimes he likes to mix and change toys and put them together, which is totally fine. I want to support his curiosity and his creativity, but again, we have to do it in a way that's going to work for everybody in this house. So this house is definitely a little bit smaller than our last one, but after living here for about two weeks, it's really made me realize how much I enjoy living in a smaller place. I think it is so much more nicer and cozy and it's just less to do overall. Even though our house previously was only two bedroom, it was two stories. So I had to like run upstairs and clean upstairs and run downstairs. So this house reminds me a lot of our first apartment so if you have been following me for a while you'd remember that we our first ever rental was in an apartment and it's similar to that but i would say it's probably a little bit bigger um but i definitely love living in a smaller space there's so many benefits and i think once you just declutter and you get really minimal and you work out a system that's going to work for your family then it's honestly a very rewarding thing um i've lived in huge houses before when growing up our house was a six bedroom three lounge room house and it's just overwhelming it's overwhelming to keep tidy it's overwhelming to you know be able to actually have a conversation with someone without shouting across the room at least this is more of an intimate setting and i mean we've made it very functional so let me know in the comments down below if you live in a small house and you love it or if you live in a big house and you want to downsize so now we're just going through and wiping down the lounge room windows, giving them a good old scrub and I actually want to do the outside. I'm sorry guys, like whenever I try to show myself wiping down windows, the lighting is always so bad because the camera's facing directly into the light source, but it does get better. <laughs> So I also wanted to go through and wipe down any doors and handles just because they do get quite dusty and our little nooks. This house has a lot of little nooks which is really fun. You can see that the wall kind of comes out and at first I was like a bit I guess intimidated on how to decorate this but it's really growing on me.
Oh, and our bedroom has this random window. I think the previous person who lived here, who actually built this space, um, this was like their downstairs area for a business, but um, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna put a curtain up there and Fedor absolutely cracks up when he can see one of us on the other side of the window. He loves it so much and it is the most joyous experience to witness. recently move I've noticed that a lot of our furniture has a lot of sticky residue on it from sticky tape so I'm gonna go around and get that up and wipe that down I'm also going to be using my multi-purpose cleaner and a magic re eraser to get that up so I'm gonna do that for his kitchen and our fridge not a cleaning video if we don't have a load of laundry so we actually have a shared laundry with Isaac's parents they live above us and I'm not gonna lie it took me a while to get used to their washing machine we actually gave our new one to my mum um, which I miss definitely um, and Isaac's parents washing machine is like a top loader so it's different from ours and we had to give a good scrub to it because it was so fluffy, but it's okay. We've gotten used to it. We've found our style and now washing is a total breeze. If you're anything like me, washing is your favorite chore. And I'm just, I don't know, there's just something so satisfying about washing your clothes and they smell so fresh and putting them away. It's just, it's just really nice. Um, but we're moving on to the bathroom. We're gonna get rid of the dirty laundry, put it in the wash, you know how it is. And this bathroom is definitely smaller than our previous one and we no longer have three toilets. We've just got one. But in a way, I prefer just having one bathroom because there's only three of us in the house and it just makes cleaning so much more faster and easier. It's just great. So I'm just going to wipe down the vanity with my DIY, DIY multi-purpose cleaner. Um, I actually really want to try the Thieves cleaner from Young Living. If you do have that or if you've tried it, let me know how you went with it. It's definitely a little bit of an investment, but I 
have seen so many people rave on about it and it's all natural non-toxic and that's just what I want in my household so yeah let me know in the comments down below if you've tried it because I think I want to try it but you know vinegar and essential oils still works amazingly but I think it's good to have options and it's kind of exciting to switch things up but I'm just going to wipe down this shower it's actually a shower with harder water so I've noticed a lot of harder water stains are appearing on the screen so I think I'm just going to have to stay on top of that otherwise it is going to be a total nightmare to clean if you watch Tiffany Beast and her water is completely hard and she has so much trouble cleaning it I know she does it with a magic eraser but um yeah let's just hope that's not the case Oh my god, isn't there just something so satisfying about a clean bathroom? I'm just gonna go ahead and top our toilet paper basket out. This is such a great way to have toilet paper at hand's reach because there's nothing worse than running out if you know what I mean. And now we're gonna go ahead and vacuum the floors. I just wanted to show you a close up of what it's actually like because I feel like sometimes the camera doesn't pick it up but there's lots of like little particles on the ground. So we actually have have to get a new vacuum cleaner this is Isaac's mom's and I think it's the Dyson stick vacuum uh, model 6 or something I, I have no idea but it's an older version so it's not too bad the only thing about this vacuum that I don't like it gets hot and you have to hold the trigger and to me that is so annoying she does have the stronger version like the actual vacuum with a cord but that is so powerful i prefer the stick vacuums especially if you do have like a smaller space um and the, do the dogs like do not like this vacuum i don't know what it is they didn't mind my previous one but they hated this one um so i had to put them away in the bedroom but we're gonna go through and vacuum all of the floors and the rug and i just wanted to mention i was actually looking at the lg a9 it's a vacuum that also mops and vacuums and i I've heard a lot of good things about that. So if you do have that vacuum, let me know how you, I guess, if you like it or not, or what your opinion is, because it's definitely an investment and I just want to get something that's going to last. Our previous vacuum was great. However, it only lasted a year and I don't want to have to buy vacuums every single year. So now we're going to finish up finish up now we're gonna finish up by cleaning the floors and the best way I like to do this is with boiling water a smidge of floor cleaner and some lemon essential oils it makes the house smell so nice and guys it's just so great because there's not many tiles in this house so I'm just gonna go through and do my bedroom I'm gonna do the kitchen and I'm gonna finish up with the bedroom but we're also doing the bathroom
Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this cleaning video. I hope you found some motivation from it. And I hope you subscribe down below to join our family and community here on YouTube. And have a great one. Bye, guys.